Fishaholic fam, welcome back to another episode. So what we've got going on for this episode is something really awesome. And as you can see, I just loaded up the runner because we are about to embark on a trip across the state of Florida from Palm City, Florida, where I live, to Panama City, Florida, where I've never been before, but we're doing something I've wanted to do for a really long time, and that is get offshore in the Gulf of Mexico and fish. And a huge shout out to this trip and video sponsor, Return Em Right. And basically, Return Em Right strives to increase the survival rate of reef fish in the Gulf of Mexico. And if you guys want to check them out in the link in the description, you can complete an online course for free. And then once you complete the course, receive a package valued up to $100 in free release gear, which is pretty cool. And also a huge shout out to Saltwater Sportsman for putting this adventure together. And if you want to check out more videos like this put together by Saltwater Sportsman, then check the link in the description as well. And also huge thanks in advance to Captain Guyon of Tailhunter Charters for taking us out tomorrow. And I think it's gonna be an awesome time. We might be able to get on some really nice grouper, um, fishing some deep water, also some snapper, maybe some amberjacks and whatever else is willing to bite. I also heard some rumors that we could catch some tuna, which could be, would, would be really awesome. So I'm gonna pack up uh, for a few more minutes and then we're gonna hop in the truck, you know, probably snack and just try and plow through this drive and get out there. So I will see you guys tomorrow. And we're getting out on the boat tomorrow, but the reason I'm bringing the kayak is because the day after tomorrow, then I'm thinking about just exploring over there on the uh, panhandle of Florida because this is fishaholic fishing after all. So I definitely want to explore around some more um, on my own time. So let's hop in the truck and get out there. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Last night I crashed at a hotel nearby with Brent from Sea Dude, and I just saw him like two, three days ago. He was over uh, in um, Stewart, Florida, Palm City, where I live. We got out on, on my boat, so you may have seen that video. And that's Brent pulling in there. And are you coming fi fishing with us? Or? No, yeah. Phil or Phil? Oh, Phil. All right, sorry. Nice, to, nice to meet you. Yeah. Say hi to the fish of Holly. What's up, guys? Hey, uh, Phil put this whole trip together really, and uh, it's my first time meeting you face to face. Yeah, I had dude. Ads, Good but to see you. You're taller than yeah. I thought you'd be. It's cool. Yeah, um, yeah. So you're rigging up, and yeah. I guess I'll get my gear too. And uh, is, we're also fishing with Ryan Mori. Uh, he's already out there. He's already out there. Oh, cool. Yeah. And then who else? Um, um, Nick Haddad, who's with Return Right. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, so he's awesome. gonna show us all the descending vices today. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Looking forward to meet him. Yeah, so um, I'm gonna get my gear, and uh, Bill's gonna gear up too, and we'll see you guys on the boat. Let's get this day started. Oh, hey, thanks so much, buddy. You guys getting out to fish today? Yeah. Nice. Catch him up. What up, dude? There he is. Woo. What's up? Pound the camera. Say what's up. How's it going? Good, how are you? I'm good. Uh, Captain Guy? Yeah, Scott over there. And Scott. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Oh, thanks, Ryan. How you doing? Whew, I'm excited. Dude, you sound like you're out of breath. <laughs> that bag is heavy. <laughs> and I was like trying to hold it with one hand. All right, I'm gonna get some more stuff and then, oh, we got the bean bags. Yeah. I'm Those are this, essential. Yeah. When riding fast on a beautiful big center console like this, this is a, a 42 Invincible, Ryan. Yep, yeah. 42 Invincible, beautiful boat. We're gonna fly out offshore with this. Should be sweet. And uh, you are Nick had a push Nick to you. from uh, Return Him Right. Yep. Awesome, nice to meet you, Nick. You Thank here. you so much. 
<laughs> yeah. All right, off we go. I think we me. may get some smile, bait, and then like, we're heading offshore, wow. and we've got a perfect morning. As you can see, we were supposed to actually go out tomorrow, but the seas were calling for like three to four for tomorrow, which is Thursday. So we moved it one day ahead because today it's supposed to be like two to three. So it's going to be a little bit better. And this boat can easily handle those kind of conditions. And we're going to you know, fly offshore, I'm assuming, pretty fast because there's three V8 350 Yamahas on the back. So we should be able to get to the, the spot way out offshore. You know, within like an hour and a half. Is this or your so. first YouTube video, man? Uh, yeah, actually. I, he sounds a little <laughs> nervous on camera, so I'm just, it's gonna be all right. Oh, You're like a pirate good. ship. Is that how you got here? Uh, uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> um, how far are we going offshore? I think it's like 80, 90. 80, 90 miles. So I'll be snoozing. Yeah, <laughs> good. That's what the beam bag chairs are for, and it's gonna be a fun ride out there. I'm excited. It's really hot and humid right now, so that'll be some nice natural AC for us. Oh, look at that sunrise. All right guys, so we loaded up on some white bait. Now we're at this buoy here, loading up with some hardtails for possibly some bigger pelagic species offshore. And uh, Scott, I wanna make a formal apology for mispronouncing your last name, Captain Wen, not Captain Guyan. <laughs> I'm so sorry. And uh, we all just were discussing a little competition and we're gonna have a four category competition for four separate species. And we're all gonna put like $5 in for each species. And the species are gonna be for amberjack, red snapper, red grouper, and gag grouper. So it should be really cool. I'm excited. We're gonna finish catching baits and then we're heading out there. So see you there. Fish, we're here. All right, so to start, I'm gonna try dropping this 130 gram Daiwa jig. The captain just said bombs away, so here we go. We're in 230 feet of water, so it's gonna be a minute till we get down near the bottom. Come on. on First drop. <laughs> Woo! Ryan and I are hooked up. Come on, Brent. <laughs> that was instant. It doesn't feel like anything too big, but hey, I'll take whatever we can get for now just to get the skunk out of the way for the day and break the ice. Whoa, and now my fish is ripping. That was crazy. This fish was barely pulling and then all of a sudden something bigger jumped on. Maybe the small fish came off and then the big fish crushed it. Because this is definitely totally a different fight right here. This is what we live for here. Oh man. Yeah, it was something small and then. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it just got light for a second, whatever that was. I don't know, I might just have the head now or something. Jack must have grabbed it. Yeah, one let it go. Yeah. Something big definitely grabbed this little jack here. <laughs> Look how beat up he is. Yeah. Something big had him in his mouth. Big gag? Maybe. Yeah, I did. 
Yeah. What's uh, Captain? What species is this right here? This is kind of like a uh, kind of like. Jack. Okay. Nice. Get rid of them or keep them for a live bait. Oh. Wow. That gag. Ryan just got a nice gag right there. Wow. These are out of season, aren't they? Sweet. All right. Well, this is perfect for what we got going on today. If you guys want to weigh it, here's the uh, boga grip. All right. Do that here in a second. I think 16 pounds? Yep. 16 okay. pounder. Bam. Nice fish, bro. Thanks, man. Yeah, yeah. But I also. There's one. Oh God. That's a better fish. Hopefully this is a grouper. Oh yeah. It might not be a grouper. It's kind of fighting like another jack species actually because I can feel the, the pulsation of its tail. Little jack. Little amberjack. Juvenile amberjack right there. Pretty cool. You see I just snagged him right outside the mouth actually. But we got him still. I'm going to weigh them just in case this is the only amberjack of the day. Five and a half pounds. <laughs> Giant. <laughs> See you later. You guys got to check this out. Brent up front just got a massive trigger fish. Yo, can I get a quick look at that? Look at that giant trigger that Brent just caught. That's awesome. That one's even bigger. Oh my god, this one's even bigger. Wow. That's awesome. They are amazing eating, for those of you guys that don't know. All right, I tried this for a little bit longer, and I had a couple more bites, but nothing significant. So I'm going to put it down for a few minutes. And I'm going to pick up this spinning setup with this little Nomad vibe on it. And it's kind of deep, the water, but... I'm gonna try and see if I can get it to the bottom because we don't really have a fast drift or or like much wind or current. So it could be possible on a beautiful day like it is today. Fish on, the vibe something not too big maybe a small grouper species or another trigger fish oh big trigger fish they're really being feisty today yeah yeah i got it on the vibe look at that guys oh excuse you so this uh trigger is suffering from a little fear of trauma but this one is a keeper so we're gonna throw him on the ice and keep him for dinner thank you nice aj on the dead on the live bait Big jack guys. Oh, nice. nice. That's a little bit bigger than what I got. That was on a, night, uh, a live blue runner. Nice. All right, back down on the bottom. I'm impressed that I can actually successfully get this down there. And at least we got the one trigger to eat it. And I'm using extremely light braid. This is 20 pound uh, Daiwa braid, and I'm using a 50 pound fluorocarbon leader on this setup. And with the thin diameter line, it makes it possible to fish a lighter weighted lure on a day like this in deep water. There's the 
There's another fish. There it goes. I wonder if it's another trigger fish. Dang. It's kind of fighting like it. We got about 12 ounces of lead on here. Yeah, I got a fish on too. Oh, you got one too? Yeah. All right, guys, another trigger fish. This one had me fooled. I, I thought it was going to be a grouper, but yep. we still got to keep working hard to try and get the one that we want. All right, let's get back down there. All right, Brent just got a nice gag right there. Yeah, that's a solid gag. Good work, Brent. Here, here's the boga grip. Get me, dude. Pretty close. Boga grip's on the seat there. Oh, there's a fish. So Brent's gag ended up being 18 pounds. So, so far that's the biggest gag of the trip. And I think I just have another triple t or uh, trigger fish again. Or not. Oh. Something small I have that keeps getting eaten by like a bigger fish, I think. Whoa. That's something pretty good. Big rays down there, Rich. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Rich. Rich is over here playing with some fish. Yeah. It happened again where I had a, a small fish eat the lure, and I'm reeling them up, and then something big ate them. Just keep that shark occupied for me, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try my best. I was going to say, that looks like amber jacket. Yeah. Get my workout in today. Oh man. Whew, it's a heavy fish. Oh. Whew. I'm really feeling the Florida heat now. Did you stop playing with this fish and get it up? Trying my best. Oh, we got color now. Oh no way! An African pompano? Oh, that's my first one ever. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Woo! All right, guys. My first ever African pompano on just this little nomad vibe. And we're just gonna open the flyer. We're just gonna pop it out right there. And I got the 60 pound boga. So we'll get a quick weight on her. 20 pound. 27. Like 24 and a half. Oh, oh you sniped Ryan it. Ryan was the closest, right? What'd you guess, 24, right? Yeah. All right. I did weigh I'm a get 29 pound myself. Up. For a closer look there. Look at that. I've been dreaming of catching a fish like this, and it's crazy to just get one by surprise like that. It's so cool. Whew. And they're great eating, I guess? They're delicious. Oh, yeah. They're one of the best fish to eat. So I'm excited. My arms are shot, but I think I'm ready Rich to catch is going more to do fish. a catch and cook today. Woo! Let's do it. Oh, so now I'm the chef, too. That's right. Everything <laughs> I'll do it. Just like it did for my video. Rich just caught a stud AP. You guys got to see his video Jeez. to see what he caught it on. You would not guess what he caught it on. <laughs> Let's get it in the box. Nice fish. All right. 
Nice. nice. I know. There you that's go, right. dude. You're welcome. All right, that was super epic. And that's my first ever African pompano, as you heard. And I swear that something smaller was on there, just like the first fish I hooked up on earlier. And then that African pompano ate it, got the hooks on this little Nomad vibe. And luckily, that one didn't come off. <laughs> so my arms are tired already, but let's uh, power through and keep it going, get back down there, and hopefully get another awesome fish. Oh, get him, get him, get him. Ryan's hooked up. Oh my god. Oh, he's, he's dumping you. He's dumping Dude, you. He's ripping, son. Oh! No, Ryan. Dang. Was it fighting like an AP, though? Definitely could have been, dude. Oh, there's a big fish. Oh, man. On the vibe again. Oh, oh I lost him. He popped off. Oh. He he came off. Didn't get sharked though, thankfully. There's another one. Oh, same same kind of fish, same kind of fight and bite. Ugh. Ugh. We're on them now. This fish is just like straight dead weight right now. So it's kind of telling me that it potentially could be a grouper. He might be. I'm going to try and just loosen up. Maybe he'll swim out of whatever he's in. Went into a hole. <laughs> Oh, I got him out! I got him out! Got him out! Got him out! Oh! The technique worked! Loosening up on the drag and... Ah, I lost him. I think he broke me off. Ah! Getting exhausted, my friend? Yeah, there's my leader and it's all frayed up right here. So, I definitely got pulled into the hole by a grouper. And that fish took control and broke me off. Oh, that's your secret. I saw that rip. And what, what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see it. You didn't see nothing. Now let's get back to it. I think I just got down to the bottom. It probably takes like two, three minutes for this to get to the bottom. But once I'm getting down there, I'm getting hit fairly quickly. Oh, there's another fish. Oh. He might have another. Oh. Oh, I lost them there. I might have got cut off. Fudge. All right, well, we're making a little move because everyone around the boat is just constantly getting cut off from the tax man. So hopefully the next spot will be a little less sharky and we won't have to sacrifice uh, so many rigs and lures and we just continue to load up the box. So see you at the next spot. Try this guy now. All right, just made it to the bottom with this blue runner. Let's see what happens. I could feel him swimming around down there. There you go. I'm on. Something good here. Oh man. Are you rocked? Oh man, this is a heavy fish here. <sighs> and I've got 330 feet to go. That blue runner didn't last long. Oh man, my arms are gonna be so sore later. Yeah, you know it. I'm curious to see what this could be. 
maybe a big red snapper, which would be awesome because I've never caught one before. Oh, here he is. Red snapper. Red snapper. <laughs> red snapper. Guys, there you have it. My first ever red snapper. And uh, this fish is suffering a little bit from some gear trauma. You can see right there, maybe inside its mouth. And you can also hear the air trying to escape. So Nick from Return Him Right is gonna show us how to use the descending device to get it down to the proper depth where I caught it. And then the descending device opens and then uh, releases and decompresses the fish and lets them swim away. So let's uh, get them on the device. And so this All is right. the sequelizer. We have it set to 300 feet. You can see there's different depths. So you just set the depth on the back. You always want to clip it on the lower jaw here because there's a better grip. You should be able to hold it up like that, almost like it's a boat grip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the water, and you see that fish is floating. So if we threw that fish back just the way it is, it would just float away, probably get picked off by a shark, and it would just die. So basically there would be a much higher um, mortality rate on these kind of fish if you did not use a descending device like this or a needle to um, get the air out of its uh, swim bladder. So. so you can see we're just gonna lower them down. So when it hits that depth, that device will just pop open. It has a hydrostatic pressure sensor and it'll release. Those gases are recompressing in the body of the fish the whole way it goes down. And then it'll, uh, it'll be able to pop off and swim off and live to fight another day. Um, awesome. There's all the different types of these devices. There's inverted hooks, there's sequelizers, there's weighted crates. Whatever, you can make them at home. It's very easy to do. And there's something for everyone. If you fish for fish in the Gulf of Mexico for reef fish that experience barotrauma, you can go to returnandride.org. We have a 15 minute training on venting, barotrauma, and descending. And then we ship you the gear for free. $100 worth of gear to use on the water. So that's pretty cool. So, thanks so much. Much, Nick? Of course. Thank you. Let's catch another. Brent, what you got there? A little guy. A little goldfish. <laughs> How heavy was it? Uh, 14 pounds. 14. Yep. So Ryan Brent's is still, still in the lead it. with, what, 17. a 17, right? Yeah. Brent has the biggest gag so far. Ryan has the biggest so red snapper, right and, a, and AJ, I forgot about that. I forget how big that was. Um, it was only like, I think it was like 13, 14, something like that. Yeah, and we have it on camera somewhere. I mean, no, no one's hit 20 yet with AJ. I have the biggest African pompano, but of course that doesn't count for anything. Yeah, but it's the best fish of the trip. <laughs> Thank it probably you. will be the best fish of the trip, too. <laughs> Thank you. All right, we're hooking up another blue runner. All right, just hit bottom. Now we wait but hopefully not too long. One of the guys on the other side of the boat just got another red snapper. Oh, I think I'm on. There he is. There you go, oh. that's a fish. Oh yeah, that's a good fish. <laughs> it doesn't take long with the blue runner, that's for sure. <sighs> Woo such an awesome fight. I'm happy that we're a little bit shallower now, too. Oh. Oh, I, I think I got someone. Here, let me go around the bow. I don't know who I have. Oh no, maybe I came off. No, you just I have, have a some fish red. Here. I have some red lines. Okay. Uh, I was on somebody, but now. Now you're just on a fish. I'm just on a fish, and I'm not really pumping a lot. I'm just doing nice and strong, steady cranks to try and get this fish up. And no, I think he off. just came off right oh, there. <laughs> I was about to start talking smack, and then I literally <laughs> just see. Doink. Oh, dang. I'll have to get another one on. What was that? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, there's a big shark following it up. Big old gag. Oh, no. oh yeah. Might be a black. No, Look at that. That was a big old gag. Oh, oh my god. Dude, that was a 30. Oh man. Oh my god. You want to weigh half of it? <laughs> it sucks. <laughs> Damn. Dude, that was a huge fish. Let's see if he gets on there. That was that big grouper you want. Look, just the head is. 
21 pounds, 20 pounds. 20 pound head? Is that bigger than yours? Are yeah, you my big me? grouper was that's 18 that's pounds. All right, you're, that's the biggest one still. I literally went down <laughs> my biggest grouper of any, I mean, not, not including Goliaths of all time. That's heartbreaking. And you know, like we wouldn't have been able to keep this fish. Definitely would have liked to release him, but that's the, uh, that's the reality of when you're out here bottom fishing or when you're just out offshore fishing there's always a food chain there's always sharks there's always something that's gonna want these things like you do i might be on here now oh. that sucks, man. i think oh, i'm on here now too <sighs> hooked up man. on something heavy you know there's a shark in there i know i gotta hurry and get him in man. it's nothing too big where is your camera? It should be up there on the, on the console. Do you see it up there? I might have put it away. Oh, I just got sharked. Shark again? Yeah. Oh, there it goes. It, it's not like, it's never a complex size. I've watched sharks. All right, here we go again. Hopefully this one we can get a nice grouper with. Yeah, you're on. There he is. Fish on. Oh, that feels really good. Oh God. Floating? I got color. It's coming up. Okay. Oh, it's a little amberjack. He ate a hard, that big hard tail? Yeah, he ate a pretty big hard tail. You need the flipper? Back she goes. Oh, I just got eight, I think. There he is. Oh, yeah. On the runner? Yep, on the blue runner. Oh. That's a good fish. Hopefully this is the grouper that we're after. Oh. Did he come off? Came off. Dang. All right, guys, well, we're making a move. The sharks kind of got bad in this area and the bottom bite is kind of slowed a little bit. So uh, we're moving, what direction are we going? You can say like northeast. So we're moving about like 20 miles northeast to another spot. So hopefully we can keep uh, the action going. It's been a very fishy day. My arms are tired, my wrists are, <laughs> are sore. So it's pretty sweet. Let's uh, see if we can get some more though. I got still a little fuel left in the tank. I'm gonna put the conventional setup down and go back to the vibe. Captain Scott Wen was nice enough to lend me this larger vibe. So we're gonna try dropping this down to see what happens. There you go. There's a fish what on the vibe. Be? Oh, lost them. Oh, Wasn't that big. Find a little armadillo again. Yeah. Come on, come on. I want to get a grouper. I'm still, I think, the, you know, the last one that hasn't got a grouper yet on the boat. I've definitely had probably two or three on that just have gotten me in the bottom each time. Yeah, we are. Oh. There he is! That felt kind of like a grouper. You got a scamp grouper? Nice. Oh no, a little red. There we go. 
Is that the red? Yeah, a small one. All right, guys. Okay. My little red grouper is a little short, so I've got to use the descending device again to get him down there. You got it? All right, down he goes. Thanks, Steve. Now let's get back down there. All right, just hit bottom. Oh, God, and instantly got hit again. All right, another little red grouper. Cool looking fish right there. Steve is just venting it. And we're gonna toss him in. And he should be able to swim down on his own once vented like that. Perfect. All right, let's do it again. But hopefully I can get a keeper. Ryan just got a big gag off the stern. Let's go check it out. Nice gag right there. That one didn't get sharked at least. All right, just got to the bottom. Let's try again. I want that keeper red or a, a nice like, gag grouper. Oh, there he is. There he is. That didn't take long again. Stays <laughs> on. They're loving this lure. Oh, look at that. Is that a scamp? Nice. I finally got a keeper grouper today. Phew. Probably the sm yeah. Probably the smallest grouper in the box, but I'll take it. Down she goes. Oh, just got hit hard. That's a good fish. That's a little better. Yep. Oh, come on. Come on out. Oh, come on up. Oh. Oh. This might be a bigger grouper. Oh, come on up. Come on. No, no. Hold on, Montauk. <laughs> Woo! Oh. Guys, Rich is grunting right now, but <laughs> I, I secretly saw him loosen his drag and he's just pretending uh, yeah. <laughs> You know it. Oh, no. I think he just broke me off right there. Wow, I wonder if I got shark, just a clean cut. Dang. All right, guys, well, it was a shame that I lost that last one or maybe like the last two or three. I don't know how many, but today was an epic day out here. Caught my first ever African Pompano, Red Snapper, Scamp Grouper, Red Grouper. And unfortunately, I could not get a gag grouper today. But Ryan here, he he slayed the, uh, the, the gag grouper today. It's fishing the big and baits, man. I was, yeah. I was committed to put, dropping the runners to try and catch a big red. Didn't happen for me, but mm -hmm. the gags definitely like the runners. Yeah. yeah, and I feel like I had a couple gags on, but they definitely got me in the holes. I don't have his arms as big as Ryan here ah, to pull him out of the hole. You're or a light or tackle. Setup. You're a light tackle. Yeah. <laughs> I was definitely a little outgunned for today. <laughs> but um what did you have two that got heaten in half and you probably two, you landed three or ones. four yeah that that big one would have been my pv by far yeah because like, it was 21 pounds i think with just the head the head <laughs> and ryan now he won the category for the tournament for the gag the red snapper and amberjack, the, the amberjack. Yep. and brent is taking the gold for the red grouper got the red grouper so I'm going home a loser, but hey, I still caught the African Pompano. You so caught the best fish of the trip. That, I'm stoked about that. Oh, and oh, Ryan's on again. Oh, One last fish before wrapping it up. Let's go. Let's Ryan, go. I swear. <laughs> it feels grouper like, boys. Might be that red grouper. Come on. Let's go. That dead bait, man. man. Last fish of the day. <laughs> one last one. Yeah, one last to end the day. Oh, and there's a shark following him up if you look right down there. All right, so he's vented and he's going back. There he goes. There he goes. There he goes. Straight back down. I'll follow him down. Woo! <laughs> Woo! Awesome day, guys.
Yeah. Thank you so much, Captain, for taking us out here and uh, putting us on the spot. We probably hit like 20 spots today or so. So we bounced around a lot. I'm probably not going to include all the, the different chain, um, move, movements, but it was an awesome day. Lots of action. And now, Phil, just want to officially thank you for inviting me on the trip. And uh, what did you have today? You, you, you I caught the track? most footage today. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Every fish that was pretty, basically caught on the boat today, Phil was ripping out the camera to capture one of us. So I was very fortunate to have a guy like this on board. And I'm, all the photos that, and video that's going to come from today are going to be amazing because of this guy right here. So thank you. Thank you so much. And uh, let's get back and we'll see you at the dock. And we'll lay them all out and probably get another cool photo or video or Definitely. two. And then we'll close out. So stay tuned, guys. Alright guys, and there's our bounty all laid out on the deck. Be it's pretty good. Over here, Chris. Cutting get them up. <laughs> Alright guys, got the AP up on the play board. I'm just gonna whack them up real quick. And you're gonna have to bear with me because this is my first ever African Pompano that I'm playing up. But I've played a lot of fish, so I think I can figure it out. And I'm really intrigued to see what the texture of the meat looks like. So, let's get into it. See how white the meat? Yeah, look how white that meat is. That is phenomenal. Yeah, that section of the tail right there. All right guys, and there you have it, a nice African pompano filet. Real white meat right there, so Captain, how do you think it'll taste? Delicious. 10 out of 10? Yeah, 10 out of 10. All right, you're gonna love it. Looking forward to it. All right guys, I whacked up, I guess like probably eight or 10 fish, and we've got a good variety. I laid up two scamps, I think like four of those big trigger fish, and the African pompano and a porgy. So we've got lots of meat here. That's only like half of it. I got some more here. <laughs> so I'm gonna be eating fish really good for the next uh, month or so. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, please smash the like button, hit the subscribe button, and a huge shout out to all the guys today that were on board and the captains for taking care of us. And like always, live to fish, fish to live.